need a five, five channel right then and there. If you don't have any five channels, what you do is you do crank sensor on one set of cams, print it out, don't try to go back and forth in the tool, crank with the other two cams, print it out, lay it down. Okay? I mean, none of you guys try to, you try to save something on the tool and you go back and forth, this left side crank bank. How long did you get to do this where you get confused which bank is good, which good, bad, you know what I mean? Printing's dirt cheap. All right. This is a trick for now the third channel. If my cam is off or my crank is off, how can I know the way I can tell? It's for, uh, ignition. What do we know that occurs just before we switch to the dead center? Spark, correct? <coughs> Could I bring a third channel in, hook up to ignition or injector, and trigger off that? <coughs> correct? So, for those who got a third lead, turn your fall switch off. If you've got a Pico scope and you're going anywhere ignition testing, what do you need to do? Jump a tooth? Is it a cracked flywheel? Is the train chain stretched? Because most manufacturers need about 10 to 15 degrees per tooth. So if I fail exactly 15 degrees, you think the chain stretch is exactly 15 degrees? You got to be correct. Right? So we need to know this, maybe, maybe not. But we're this far into the scope, it's only another couple of minutes. Can crank sync be as priceless? That relative compression. I heard it. I didn't mention this last night. For those of you guys who have uh, handheld, you're free to get up and see what I mean. Because it only takes 
I'd say about seven, eight degrees and you can have drivability issues. Could you see seven, eight degrees if you really weren't concentrating? They look close. And how close is good enough? That close? <clears throat> that close? So if I get a rough idea and get into the habit, well, this is the known good, or the good bank per se, and I can check the bad bank, so you got a database of known good, you'll get to see the relationship. Now, is the cam early or is it crank late? Or which one is it? Which way do we say we went? Cam and special needs. We should all say it's the cam, correct? Anybody realize the problem with that statement? When is the crank going to fire? I mean, when's the coil going to fire? When a crank says. Excuse me? So if the crank is off, you're triggering off a bad event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you trigger off an injector, and the cam was off, when's the ejector going to fire? So what you went through is a truly a valid test. Without a known good pattern, you can't answer that question. Well, yeah. Correct? Correct. But the whole thing was about doing the exercise. You all ran for good. And you'll see it that I hold it to low hold it, I hold it to low hold it, and it's not going to open the door, it's going to open the door. Yeah, that looks like that pattern's broken. Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, it looks like that pattern's broken. Yeah, the elective kit comes up when you turn it off, now it's turned on. Yeah, oh, no, you got it. Okay. That's the injector. No, 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 that's wrong. First things first. Okay, let that run. That's right. We fixed it. It's called, it's called the PCM reset. Okay. So let's put less time on the screen because now I want to start. I want to use the whole screen over this whole event. Fire, 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 fire. What shot? Channel? <laughs> CVVT. Channel voltage. Time trigger. That's what I call real. More time, uh, less time. Is going to get in on this? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I just want less time. I want to use the whole screen. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Sometimes you get crazy feedback because you got two scopes hooked up to a one signal. That's <coughs> right. That's our kick. Pressure's on, Joe. Uh, he's got to figure this out. That's all. Okay. Mm. Yeah, still looks too high. Mm hmm. Can you put more voltage? You can bring it down more. There you go. And you're gonna set up trigger. Keep it on the screen. Pressure's on. Let's see if Joe can do it. There you go. Two hundred milliseconds. You think that's enough? That's maybe a little too much. You can put a last time and bring a bigger image. There you go. So now I can bring the cursors over and measure Correct. my all time. Better. Yeah. What's your dwell? Take a minute. Work the stylus. Come on, man. Come on. Try the number two. 
You say bring this over? Yeah. Try the number two, no? Oh man, doesn't work on that. <laughs> it's close. We broke it. It's close. We broke it. But you notice how it doesn't show an effect when you write. It's a minor effect. Yeah. Well, you're in front of the camera. <laughs> oh, you got it right this time? No pressure, Joe. <laughs> got it hooked up. Tell, wow, tell Dave we, perfect. Tell Dave we got it hooked up right this time. Tell Brandon, too. <laughs> nice. We're rolling. On the band, too. This is old school. Yeah, I have one of them. Yeah. Love the component testers. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. So you understand, does everybody understand the value of voltage drop in the power feed to a component? Well, now I do. Yeah. Well, you do it right, right, Joe? <laughs> what code do you think you get? For code? It's 12 volt feed to all my injectors. It's got a 